This week on Text Nation TV, everything is getting a lot more mobile. That's right, mobile money, mobile watches, mobile phones, and everything else from 2003. <laughs> Hi and welcome back. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. Like I said, we got a lot of things to talk about. Uh, it seems we've missed out on a lot, but we're gonna catch up real quick with you. Um, as what what we we're gonna start out with? There was so much to talk about. I mean, just in the recent months, <clears throat> I just uh, I don't know if you can see this there. Yeah. What is that? It's it's a little dated now at this point in time, but it is the Galaxy Gear, the first version. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, everybody knows I carry a Note 3 with me, uh, so this is the companion device to go with it. I will say, versus the iPod Nano as a watch, yep. I enjoyed the iPod Nano much more because it had memory, it had other things, like I could do uh, a radio, for instance. This one does not have a radio in it. Or does it even have antenna. a... An input anywhere. Uh, there it? is no input anywhere. You're literally Bluetoothing to your phone, and you're basically a remote device for your phone. Uh, I will probably do a full-on review later. Uh, I've had this for several uh, weeks now, uh, probably a few months at this point. Um, can't change out the band. Can't change out the band because of the wart uh, on the side, which is the camera. Uh, and they have the very specific class for their uh, deal because you actually have to have the microphone right here on the bottom of your wrist. And so that's kind of awkward if you're wanting to do this number so here. So you gotta do that secret service yeah, look. Yeah. So you're walking around talking into your wrist. And <laughs> I, I did it here locally on a bus, you know, uh, public transportation, and wow, people look at you very weirdly. Especially when, you know, someone's talking out at you from your wrist. It's like, what is that? You missed a future man. Yeah, exactly. So it just looks kind of awkward. So. I will say uh, Samsung just at Mobile World Congress 2014 just announced the Galaxy 2, and I think it's actually just Gear 2. I think they removed the name Galaxy altogether um, because they have updated the software to their, don't quote me on this, take a Zen, take a Zen, something along those lines. It's got a T and a Z in it. Yeah, it's T and a Z somewhere in there. They're dropping Android altogether, and they're bringing their own flavor of OS to the, uh, to the watch. And what's cool about it is, and especially with this watch, uh, like I said, the big pain is the microphone is on the back. Yeah. They've actually moved the microphone to the front, and they've also got what looks like a home button on the bottom of the watch so that you can have something. Because to get home right now, you basically swipe down, swipe down, swipe down until you get there, basically. Something tactile that you Yeah, and we're so all used something to. you can, exactly. So they're trying to do that. They've also moved this wart, as it were, uh, from the actual wristband to the actual uh, watch itself so that you can have interchangeable wristbands and you can change it out. That is awesome. I like the idea with the microphone now facing you so that at least maybe if I were to carry this, you know, I, I could just, you know, do this number here and I could just, yeah, still kind of in the same motion, but just, I guess, I don't know, to me, this seems a little bit more natural, natural yeah. than this, you know, maybe it's just me, but... I, I just bought this one, uh, like I said, just a few weeks ago. I'm enjoying it. I like it. There are some things that I liked about my iPod Nano, like I could put music on my iPod Nano and I could jack in. Well, with the new gear, it has extra memory, I think four gigs, that you can actually store an, an amount of things on there, and whether it be music or photos, I can't remember specifically, because the way that this one works is it Bluetooths the camera stuff straight to your phone. You have 10-second video here with a quick little picture and it just shoots right over your phone. It's, so It's just a companion device exactly, to the Galaxy. Exactly. It's it's not the phone watch that we're all looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw quite a few actually when we were in Vegas. I mean, uh, we talked to um, several people actually. Yeah, we got, we got to meet uh, Simon and probably not pronouncing his last name correctly, Ty, Tian, oh, we got his name right there. Yeah. But we actually met the CEO of Neptune Pine and they ran a Kickstarter maybe a year or two ago. Right. And they're now funded. And right. that watch is going to be on the market soon. They're taking pre-orders on their website, neptunepine.com. But it's an actual, it's like I'm wearing it here. But it's like, it's an actual phone watch. Yeah. It's a little big. 
Maybe too... Yeah, I, I agree with the fact that it was a little too big. Three by two or something like that. Yeah. But he made it where he wanted just the watch to be the phone. You don't need the phone. You can just get rid of the phone, put your yeah. SIM card in, and you're good to go. It's got its, it's, got its own apps, which yeah. I guess they built their own platform for that. Yeah. But you got your Facebook, your Twitter, and text messaging, all the stuff you want to do, but also a phone. We actually got to type on it, and it wasn't that bad. I don't know if... Does that have a This actual... doesn't have a typer. The only thing that it has is just the dialer for your phone so mm -hmm. you can dial out so that you can keep your phone on your wrist or on your hip if you if that's what you do or your backpack or whatever. But it seems to be... Like, it, it's it's decent. I like it. I guess since we're all used to texting on a screen, that right. should yeah. be no problem just to jump right into that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, seemed pretty cool. 500 bucks, so pretty costly. But if you want to get on the cutting edge, uh, that's probably the way to go. Also, you can disconnect it. So it's a... It's not a phone. It's not just a watch. It's an actual device. Right. And I think they had like a little dock that you could put it in on your desk or make it into like a nightstand clock if you so need, choose. Yeah. yeah. If you're traveling or whatever, things like that. Where to charge this thing? Yeah. Uh, they actually have, and I and I wish I I don't want to walk off camera for this to be eh, a professional. But anyway, they actually have a case that actually sets this. Whenever you charge it, you set it inside of the case, and it sits on its side like a watch normally would and it becomes your you know overnight watch if or you know alarm clock if you would want yeah. so i mean but a lot of people actually use their phone for the alarm clock there's a lot of apps out there that will take your screen darken it almost to the point where you can't see it and just show you the numbers and those are really great to be honest with you for those of you that can tilt you know something like this or just laid up it, it's a great alarm clock for your cell phone so I don't think the watch is there yet, but maybe, you know, his might be, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, somebody else who just came out with a smart watch. Yeah, Moto, Motorola Google, I guess you could call it, slash, whatever. But the Moto 360 is what they're calling it, and this is actually a good-looking watch. It looks like a watch, an actual, like, round face watch. Right. That, you know, you, this... Uh, it still looks kind of, I guess, futuristic. You right. Know, someone would look at it and, you know, maybe think you're stuck up or something because you got that. But this actually just looks like a round face watch. Yeah. But it's running Jelly Bean. Yeah. The cool thing about it is Google actually showed, I think if I'm not, if I think I'm correct, but the Google preview that they showed because this was also a partnership with Google Motorola. Yes. Um, Google is announcing the fact that they're releasing the operating system that is built specifically for those mobile devices, your wearable devices, your watches, possible later on down the road. I'm guessing shirts or something? I don't know. They, they've got some other things going on. Uh, but it was kind of cool to see the video because they showed that watch off and like, hey, Google, get me to blah, 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 blah. And yeah. it would show you, you know, different routes of getting there. Or they get to the beach and the girl gets out of the car and they start to pull the surfboards out and it goes, Watch out! Don't go to this beach today. And it shows, you know, it pops up, and it's like, oh, yeah, sharks or high tide or yeah, something hurricane. like exactly. And if you don't know that a hurricane's coming, you got other problems. But <laughs> exactly, but it's like I said before, it's just going to be a good-looking watch. I don't have a lot of information on it, just what they've released. Um, no price yet. I haven't seen yeah. the price yet either. But um, there's a lot of people thinking that this may kill Google Glass. Which, why would Google make a device to kill off their, their device? But yeah. I, I don't know. A lot of people who've been testing, we got friends that's been testing the Google Glass, and they're saying that mm, after seeing this watch, I may not need this yeah. because it's kind of cumbersome to have. We've got friends, so we gave them a, a name that's probably not too friendly, but it's a glass, and you dig it with a shovel. <laughs> we'll, we'll go from there. But they're always taking photos of them, like hashtag through glass, you know, driving yeah. and things like that, or yeah. at dinner or whatever. And yeah. I, I, it just looks cumbersome. With this watch, though, it's right there. You look down. Okay. You know, you you're used to. A you're watch not going to go into there. a bar in San Francisco and get beat up. Did you yeah. hear about that? The girl who uh, went to the bar in San Francisco. It no. was like a pretty rough bar. Yeah. But she was like, "Hey, I got my Google Glass. That's I don't know yeah. how she really sounds, but yeah." yeah. <laughs> And she got beat up. Wow, that's horrible. I mean, to be honest with you, the Google Glass does look sort of intrusive because it doesn't look like a pair of glasses. Mm -hmm. It's this headband-looking thing 
with this, you know, protrusion out with this piece of plastic right out in front of you. Uh, I loved the idea and the concept of it, but I just didn't like the actual yeah. hardware and the fact it was fifteen hundred dollars. I get that, you know, they're beta testers and things like yeah. that. But fifteen hundred dollars, I know there's technology in there, but man, yeah, that was that was just ridiculous. G, uh, G plus dot to slash Station TV. If any of you uh, through glassers want to. You know, do a hangout and tell us why it's so great. Yeah, and also, speaking of wearables, the infamous iWatch. Yeah, that's also another thing out there. Rumors about it, um, really nothing on it. Everybody's just kind of chasing the patents right now. There's a new patent Apple just applied for with solar, charging with solar cells, and some people think maybe the band will have a, a solar cell on it. Yeah. Also, the new iPhone, I don't know if iPhone 6 may be too early for it, but talking about... A, <laughs> solar panel on the back of the iPhone as well. Right. That's pretty exciting, you know. I, I don't see Apple going in that in that direction, uh, only because of, I think that the, I, I love, again, I love the concept. I just think that the design, in Apple's mind, design will not work for that. I just see that as being a flaw. I don't know, but. Uh, well, also, we, as soon as we get our devices, we slap them in a big plastic case. Right. And that pretty much, Exactly, exactly. So Canc cancels that out. Maybe our friends at uh, was it Goal Zero can uh, develop a solar case. Hey, there you go. I'm sure they can. Uh, I, it's it's cool to see some of the concepts that are out there. If you haven't seen, uh, look up iWatch rumors. Look up iPhone six rumors. Um, I mean, there's still rumors for another device, the Apple TV, the ever growing unicorn on that. We seem to be getting. Closer and closer on the Apple TV as well, but you mean the like the uh, TV? The TV, TV, the Apple full TV set. You go and buy it, it's three thousand dollars because we all know it's like an Apple Smart TV. Exactly. So you know, Apple's got a lot of elusive things that are maybe coming down the line. Uh, in a, in a, in a, in a, Speaking of Apple, I was gonna say uh, <laughs> I, I I hate to talk about this, but um, being the fact I have a Samsung Galaxy Gear a Samsung Galaxy Note. I actually went about to go buy myself the new Galaxy Tab 8 Pro or whatever it is. It's What is that? Let's see it. it. It looks exactly like my Note 3, but in an 8-inch version. But... Just a bigger piece of garbage. Hey, watch yourself now, because I'm about to tell you a story that's going to be very... I want you to Samsung me a song about <laughs> it. But anyway... So I went into uh, my local cell phone provider, uh, and you know I had a I had a cell phone that was about to go up to go out of date, uh, go out of contract, go off contract. Sorry, and I was like, I want to switch that from a phone to a tablet. Do you guys have access to getting blah 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 blah? And they're like, No, we have this old Samsung Galaxy Tab Three. We have this old Samsung Galaxy Ten. Blah blah. blah. And I didn't really want the, the... Yeah, why does AT&T need to be on the cutting edge? I, exactly. But anyway, so I was like, look, I just, I just want, a, I want a tablet, and this is what I want. And they were like, well, we can work out a deal. Lo and behold, um, this piece of stack of papers right here uh, says I now own a iPad Air. This is not the iPad Air, but this is the accessory case that I bought for it. Uh, they had a deal. Um, it was $5 more than Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, I only buy stuff on Amazon because you get a better deal, faster shipping, blah, 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 blah. But uh, they had a deal, basically $30 off retail because you're buying it from their par yeah. you know, partnership deal, whatever. So, um, well, not, I, to, not to throw you off right now, but yeah. what do you think about Amazon Prime going up? To not, was it 99? I think it's 99. Uh, that's fine. $100 a year to continually have streaming all year long. Uh, as a one shipping. time thing, two day shipping. Every item that I purchase, as long as it's an Amazon you know, backed item, because uh, some people won't be able to ship two days. Some of those Japanese companies, like uh, Samsung cables that I bought for my uh, phone, came directly from China. And it's going to be like 20 days. So anyway, uh, but beside that, uh, I went and bought this case. It's a Bluetooth case that uh, basically takes care of having to have your iPad out and about. It looks stylish in the fact that there's keeping with the aluminum. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, and basically it has magnets in the bottom so that I can have it in three different convenient ways of having the board tilted, which doesn't really matter to me, but whatever, that was cool. 
And the other thing is that this uh, case does, outside of most of them, is that you can actually fold it back and you can continue using your iPad without having to worry about the keyboard being in the way. So. Someone who has a keyboard case, you really stop using the keyboard after a week. Okay, well, that may be going <laughs> back then. So, but yeah, I bought an iPad Air, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I will say though, I did get to use this neat little device. I have also upgraded myself to Google Wallet. Google Wallet. Google Wallet. If you guys are not on this, get on it now. And it's great because basically you go into the Google Wallet or the app for Google Wallet and you sign up or you can go to the website and sign up. They send you your card after you get everything and you set everything up and you add it into your account. Uh, this can be your checking account. This can be your savings account. This can be whatever. So this is basically a, a MasterCard debit card. Correct. So everywhere MasterCard's accepted, exactly. no problem. Unlike coin, people may look at a coin and go, <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? Exactly. This has a stripe, a hologram. Yeah, it's no. got everything. It's, it's treated just like any other standard ATM, debit card, whatever. Uh, you have a PIN number for security. You have the extra three-digit security number on the back. It's your standard, typical card. Just doesn't have the front like a normal card. They don't press in numbers. They actually print everything on the back. Uh, so I, I kind of like that. No information on the front. Yeah, it's it's just basic. And what's cool about it is this can be a mask for my real card. For instance, if I didn't have my checking card, I could put my checking account card behind this and say when I swipe this you're actually charging my other car. So I can do that like in the restaurant at that time? Uh, uh, as far as, you have to do the setup pre, pre uh, you have to add your card in. You can do it in the app. Like, like after you add your card, say I'm out at a restaurant and I think, oh man, I, I need to move, you know, I, I, I can't use this card right now, I need to use this card. Yeah. I can do it right there. Yes. At that, oh. Absolutely. So that's basically, that's like a coin. Yeah, this is almost exactly like a coin in the fact that you can mask your other cards and it's great for security, Security, I have a degree in this stuff, because you can set this card up on your pay whatever, pay whatever, you know, online that you want your constant stuff to. Mm -hmm. If this card ever gets stolen, lost, the database gets broken into like Target did this last year, you know which card that you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about your actual card being out there. So you just cancel this, get a new one, and you don't even lose. Even Visa? Uh, this is only MasterCard that I know of. I don't know about Visa. Okay. I just know that, well, you're masking another card. Yeah. So, yes, yes. Even, oh. Yeah, so that's pretty that's nifty. All you, one card, that's all you need. Yeah, that's basically, I, like I, can, I can, you know, mask this, and so that if I find out that later on down the road, you know, Target's database gets hacked and I use this, this is so. It's a lot like PayPal. PayPal can do the same thing, uh, they, but you have to be a business. Whereas Google Wallet, you don't have to yeah. be. You can just be a consumer and get that. How so, long did it take you to get that? Uh, it took me the minute I went into the app and signed up. Within four days, I had the uh, envelope in my mailbox. So nice. I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, you can add money to it. The great thing about it is we just had a large event a few weeks ago. People weren't able to pay me with a card because I didn't have my square with me. Mm -hmm. So they were like, well, do you have Gmail? Yes. What's your Gmail? Da, da, da. I'm getting emails. Ding, 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 ding. You just got paid. You just got paid. You just got so paid. So like PayPal. So it's exactly like PayPal and the fact that I can get paid via my Gmail account, which is awesome. So Google, congrats for you. I'm a little worried because you're starting to take over a lot of things in my life. Hey, pal. <laughs> You've got the cards already. Yeah. Just get the masking. Exactly. So, uh, I like well, that. PayPal does a little bit of that. I, we can go on a whole another episode, but uh, um, anything else that we want to talk about before we get out of here? So you've test drove that already? I've test drove this a little bit, yes. Nice. Yep. So uh, uh, more, more details later. I can get into a smaller episode just about just this card. If you guys want, leave comments below, and I'll answer questions about this. And when the iPad Air arrives, we'll do a test uh, an unboxing of the Belkin case along with testing it out and letting you know how it goes as well. Yeah, and I, I will have another video that is just me alone doing a comparison as to what I thought about my iPod Nano versus this Samsung Galaxy Gear versus the upcoming Galaxy or the Gear 2. Uh, there's multiple flavors of it because of they're doing the sport watch as well because it'll also take in your heartbeat just as well. So. Um, and Danielle's not gone. She's out throwing a frisbee. I'm sorry, disc is disc. somewhere. <laughs> so as soon as it flies back around, she jumps up to catch it. She'll be back. 
So guys, stay tuned. We got all sorts of places you can find us. You can hit us up. Uh, you can stay subscribed right below youtube.com slash TV. That pretty much keeps you covered. Facebook.com slash TV. Uh, I haven't signed up for the uh, Google or plus.google.com slash TV, but it's still going to be gplus.to slash TV until I can get that completed. So. Twitter.com slash TV. And make sure you share, like, do whatever it is that you can to get our episodes out there. And we greatly appreciate you. And TV. Stay tuned, guys. We've got more coming up for 2014.